Well, it's still a little chilly here. I think it's in the maybe late 50s, <laughs> high 50s. Uh, but I'm down the mall, there's dozens and dozens, of hundreds of people down here. This is uh, at the Smithsonian Institution. See all the food trucks behind me? Uh, and behind me over here is, uh, there's the Washington Monument, people picnicking on the ground. Uh, over here behind me, that's the African American Museum. You go the other way, uh, and that's the mall. And you can see the Capitol way back in the far end there. <laughs> is the Capitol Dome. But it's fun, a lot of people are all over. Uh, I don't know, I hope you could hear me. Uh, because there's a lot of wind out here today and I'm not sure people will hear me. <laughs> but I was just reading an article today how, and I've been reading about this be before, see the people in your state and county governments that are giving out grants, once they get rid of it all, they're able to get more. Now New Jersey just came out with a big story about they're, they're going to give out more and what they have is a pre-application process. So you don't uh, you have to pre-apply to apply, <laughs> if that makes any sense at all. Uh, so, and the point behind this is that when you call an office and ask for a grant or something and they say they have no money rent out, well that may not be true because they get more money and particularly with the rent grant money, all that money is like 25, 40 billion dollars or whatever it is, uh, they're, they're taking it from states who don't spend it and giving it to other states that really spent all theirs well and there's still a more uh, um, a need. So they're shuffling it around. So where you live may be one of those states where they're, you know, they're getting more money. So if they do it, and sometimes it's hard for the person you talk to at the office because they're just, you know, administration stop doing things that they're told to do and they may not know all these other implications that's going on. So you got to check and the way to check is through your elected official. So if the people call up, you call up the office giving out the grants and they don't know or they have no idea, well call the elected officials because they, they're more likely to know or they're more likely to be able to find out who to talk to who would know. And that's the important thing. And so you just have to keep doing that and it's all how much digging you do. That's why, you know, you really have to be a, a government grant gopher, you know, to, to get this stuff. Some are easy, but a lot of this stuff means digging. And it's all right. You know, you learn it and, you know, life isn't easy and you have to learn to do difficult things to get through life. And so if it's not as easy as you'd like, that's okay and buckle up and, <laughs> You know, put on your big boy pants or your big girl pants and, and, and give it a shot. Uh, and that's what to do. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm worried that I don't, my audio isn't too good. But don't forget, also, uh, uh, we have our grant, our $30,000 that we, it closes the grant application. Let's go help and just tell us in a few sentences. And I mean $1,000 and we give out $30,000 in either $1,000 or $500 to about 50 members and we do that every month. So if you're interested in that, go to letsgohelp.com <laughs> and, and start learning how to take advantage of that. And don't forget, letsgohelp.com is, I mean, in my mind, and I'm biased so don't trust me, uh, is that it's the only place on the internet you could get unlimited personal assistance to apply to every grant available in America. That's what we profess to do. You know, and I've been doing this for 40 years, so I know that's a safe thing to say. Everyone doesn't get the money, nobody does. Uh, but I know, you know, over 150 million people get this money every year, and that's a lot. That's probably a lot more than that because there's 300 and 20 million people I think in the United States and most the average amount of money that you give out to families in the United States this is average is about 25 to 30 thousand dollars so it's going out whether you apply or not 
And if it's a little difficult, you have to learn what the hurdles are and understand it. Like anything, you learn how to use the computer, you learn how to drive a car, you eventually learn all this stuff that at first glance, it didn't sound too easy. <laughs> but once you learn it, everything. I mean, 98% of us could do 98% of the stuff going on, you know? It just may, sometimes it may just take us a little more effort. Or the people around, they're just, <laughs> uh, it, it's just a lot, a lot of people all over. I can't get over, I mean, look at all the, yeah, I guess it's the cherry blossom. See the cherry blossom on the tree? That's why it's here. This is a, a party for Washington, D.C., a tourist attraction. I think it's the first time uh, yeah, we didn't have lockdowns or something like that. Nobody was around. So this is the last two years. This is always nice and the blossoms are nice. Now over here on the left is where we, the real cherry blossoms are. Maybe I'll walk a little quicker and try to get over there so you can see that. But that's right, there's a little circular pool uh, with trees all around it. That's really nice. Great to uh, walk around in there and just, you know, no, it's it's, uh, you have cherry blossoms dripping all over you. <laughs> and that's sort of cool. I've done a lot of video ads in there at times, you know, with cameramen and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but it's, it's a nice city. And what's nice is that for a big city in the United States, it has no big tall buildings, so you don't feel like you're in a canyon, you know, because all the buildings are, uh, they can't be over th 13 stories high. Yeah, and that's what, maybe I'll, I worry about flipping it around because then the, you don't see the audio, I think, or something. I don't know, I'll learn this stuff more. Oh yeah, all those, Maybe I'll turn, gonna turn it around so you can see. You see all the cherry blossoms across the street there? Uh, uh. <laughs> and the tourist bus. Cherry blossoms. Uh. Yeah, take a... A look across there. See that? See all those cherry blossoms over there? Yeah. 20 or more. That big one is a normal kind of tree. Hi. <laughs> for your daily walk? Yep. <laughs> uh, but anyway, that, that's the story here at the DC. Well, maybe someday you come to Washington and, and do this one. It's at least nicer in the morning. Uh, I applied last year in July. Okay, yeah, you have a lot of laws on that. If you applied and didn't get it, or the... Yes! Oh, my goodness! <laughs> Here's a friend of mine. She came all the way from Paris just to be seriously to see these cherry blossoms. Yeah. We are with the guy, the foundation. We are oh, really? Training, you know? Oh, wonderful. Well, like that. <laughs> oh, she trains dogs, service dogs, right? Uh, guide dogs. Guide dogs, yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, wonderful. So how are you guys? Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, on my way. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. I don't know how people recognize me. <laughs> it's nice. People treat me nice just because I dress like a clown. You know, I used to be thrown out a lot of places because of this. Oh, let me show you more. Oh, by the way, I was saying, okay, if you were, you know, you applied last year, you still didn't get the rent grant. I mean, they are so screwed up. But depending on your state, like I was just reading, Jersey has it. As long as you applied and haven't heard, they can't evict you. So uh, make sure you know that. Know, know your rights about being evicted or not, because there's a lot of laws that protect you. And the best way to learn those laws is to, oh, let me... So you see the cherry blossoms over there? See? That's a cherry blossom. See them all? 
See, there's a pool of water. They go around, and uh, they're all over now. Yeah, so they're pretty peak. Actually, they only last for a few days, too. <laughs> that's what's so funny. So that's why there's, in the newspaper every day, they say, count down how many days will be the peak of the cherry blossom. Because they come and go. They're like a bad habit. Oh, bad habit stays, doesn't it? <laughs> that's a bad analogy. Uh, but they come and go so quickly, so it's always a countdown. You can see how many days left to the peak of the cherry blossoms. But back to... Uh, uh, being evicted, yeah, go to just, J-U-S-T, shelter, S-H-E-L-T-E-R dot org. They have a listing of all free lawyers that help you with foreclosure. See, the problem with foreclosure, you know, 99% of the landlords have a lawyer to go to foreclosure. You know, only about 5% <laughs> of the renters use a lawyer. So these are free lawyers, so you know. And that's why there's so many laws now that protect you, they can't throw you out. Uh, particularly if it's because of the government not getting the grant to you. See, they want to get rid of you because they'll make more money. <laughs> you know, rents are going up so high that they're all going to make a lot more money if they get a new renter in. And, but that's against the law. Eh? But they're going to skirt around that as much as they can. Uh, look at all these people. <laughs> ah. And so you got to be armed with your legal rights. And the only way you know that is to learn. And it takes getting on the phone, talking to me. I've talked to a lot of these lawyers, too, uh, that give free help. And they're just terrific. Sure, you get a couple of idiots that don't, <laughs> uh, aren't too nice. Boy, it is so crowded. Nice. It's like springtime in Washington. Old springtime in Washington. <laughs> New springtime. Uh, so that's the way to get, and you have to get, to, just don't guess, don't, don't trust me or anybody else that says something on the internet. Life is too complicated, really, to really know the specific answer. You have to get to the local office, the ones giving out the money, the people who are local and know what's going on locally. That's why your elected official may be a good place to start. And also, don't count on anybody solving your problem. One may, one may not. And the way you solve a problem is if one person doesn't, you have to try another person. And if they don't do it, you have to try another person. And, and that's the name of the game about getting help. Uh, if you expect to make one phone call or apply to one grant and get that, you're not going to get much. You may get lucky and get something, but <laughs> and not very likely you'll get lucky. <laughs> and so then after that, it becomes a little difficult. Some things are easy, but a lot of the stuff can be a little harder than you would like, and that's okay. You just figure it out. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> if you, unless you have nothing, if you have something better to do or an easier place to get money, you go get it. But if you don't, this stuff is there, and it's there the people for people who figure it out. That's why at Let's Go Help. What we do is training. We're doing a lot of training now. Uh, and you could keep asking questions, uh, you know, because if something doesn't work, then you have to try something else. And that's what it's about. If you're not trying something else, then, you know, I mean, the guy who invented the light bulb, what's his name? <laughs> I forget so much as I get old. You know, I mean, he like a, had a thousand things he tried before he got it right. And that's what we all are. We're all experimental inventors inventing our own life and we have to try and fail a whole lot of times to get it right and so if you're not willing to fail to me you're not willing to live or or at least live the best life you can and living the best life you can means failing a lot and trying and failing because that's the only way you learn you take a little bit of knowledge or something from other people, but how they did it will be different from how you will do it. And you just have to, you know, build your own life because we're all different people. We all have different skills. We all have different talents. We all have different desires, everything. So we have to build that within ourselves and do it within ourselves. And other people the way they say this is do it, and they say, hey, look at this guy, he got this and that. Well, that's nice for them, but you're different. Now maybe you could build, take a little bit of 
information from that and and use it somehow uh, but it's going to be you doing something and you failing a lot and you trying and failing you know is the only way to do this uh, uh, otherwise you're just going to be pissed at the world and you know, storm the capital because nothing's going right <laughs> and that's what we all do I mean I would do that man if you didn't let me play uh, yeah, I, I'd probably ruin the game too. Yes, I mean, that's something in me, <laughs> I understand. But the older I get, I feel the, the only people stopping me from doing something is me. <laughs> not being creative enough, not seeing other opportunities that are out there. And that you do by trial and error. So you really have to get out there and, and try things. And people don't get up every day and say, hey, how could we screw over Lesko? <laughs> Maybe there is, but there's too many things. I just go around the corner and do something else. Uh, and, and we all have that opportunity. That's what's so great about America. You know, you're, hey, if you're an asshole, we should put up with you. <laughs> and, 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 look, you dress like a crazy man and put up with you. And, and the, it's so big and so many opportunities. Are you on TikTok? Huh? Are you on TikTok? Yeah. <laughs> no, not TikTok now. Yeah. Can I say hi? Yeah, sure. Hey, what's up? <laughs> what's, what's up? up? <laughs> what's this live on? <laughs> this is YouTube. YouTube? What's yeah. your, wait, what's your YouTube channel? Uh, Matthew Lesko. Matthew Lesko? L-E-S-K-O. Okay, <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Thank you. I, I am doing TikTok. Uh, how do I reach people and educate them? Uh, so they look like a TikTok. They thought I was doing TikTok. But I will. I'm just going to start that more because I use mostly YouTube because that, uh, I do very well with that. It's a free way to advertise. You don't have enough money to advertise. I, all my businesses, every time I started spending money on advertising, I lost money. When I figured out how to get advertising without spending money, I start making money. And that's what you have to do. So that's why experts will tell you how to spend money and experts will tell you how to do a video or experts tell you how to get this. And it may, may not be true, but if you don't have money, man, it means nothing because they want you to buy stuff, you know? And they want to get money from you to do it. But if you don't have money, you got to stay away from them. And that's why the, uh, uh, <laughs> to me, Google is just a money pit. You know, it, it's good, it finds stuff, but the stuff you're going to see and people fight to get your attention so they can get your money is what, and if you don't have money, that's all you're going to see and you'll think that's the only way to succeed in the world is have money to do something. That is absolutely wrong and it's more wrong now than ever before. I mean, I'm an old fart. I've been starting businesses for the last 50 years and, well, maybe 40. Uh, and it, it, it is not true at all. There's just too many ways, and too many ways to earn money and income nowadays without having a nickel in your pocket, and that's because of the internet. Before, when you had to sell something, you'd have to have a push cart or on the back seat of your car, you know, uh, or have $100,000 and be in a mall, you know, or 200,000, quarter million. No, now, 20 cents and you have a store. You know, 20 cents, uh, you have a website and, and you're in the biggest mall in the world, you know, uh, and that's Amazon. Sure, it takes knowledge, but that's all knowledge once you are to, to, to get entry in it, then you have to learn. Sure, if you want to hire somebody to figure that out or somebody to figure it out, sure, that takes money, but you figure it out. And it probably works different from you than anything else because this is your product, your soul, your everything. That you will see things somebody else will never see. It's sort of like, look at Ukraine. The soldiers are, you know, there's 150 Russians uh, attacking them. And they have, you know, volunteer soldiers are keeping them all at bay. Oh my God, why? Because their heart is in it. Russian soldiers are just paid <laughs> soldiers, right? I mean, well, look, we have won a war ourselves. We're so big. We lost Vietnam. We lost the Middle East. We, well, I think Baghdad, you know, but that was, eh, and what was that? Uh, some little island down in the uh, south, 
South America. <laughs> I forgot what that was. <laughs> oh, the Falkland Islands, that word. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we never want anything uh, of, of, of significant. I, <laughs> nice to see you. Uh, uh, there's a friend I see walking here a lot. Actually, her husband is a uh, policeman on Capitol Hill. And it's just a terrible for these policemen during the riots. Uh, it was terrible. Uh, oh, look at all these students here. See them off. So that's why I mean, we live in a wonderful country that you can do what you want. Not everything you want, but there's a way to do it that way. If you're trying to please everybody, you're not going to please everybody. And it's now you could, you don't need a large market. I mean, everybody say, oh, what will sell? You don't know. I don't know. We're all guessing. And you try. Uh, and you don't need a million dollars. I mean, when I was selling books, I used to, you know, the only way to sell books at the time, 20, 30 years ago, was being in all the bookstores. And you'd be in all the bookstores, well, they have to sell a million dollars of books to make any money. But you don't need that. You need, you know, maybe a hundred, not a million. And you're in business and you're feeding yourself. That's what counts. How many people? And you cut out all the middlemen by being on the, you know, selling it yourself, then if you printed the book, you know, and then publish the book, all that money goes in the publishing, put it in the bookstores, the bookstores take the money, the distributors take the money, everybody takes all this money, and you're left with a dollar, if you're lucky, out of a $10 book. You put it on the internet and you get $10 for a $10 book. And you get all that stuff, and plus now you don't even have to finish the book. You just put it digital. So what? So, you're a published author in the biggest bookstore in the world that's all digital and it costs you nothing. So that's what's cool about America. Yeah, and about the times we live in. It's easier to make money now and create your own income to provide something in society that people will pay for and that will support you to live forever. And why retire? Too many people retire because they hate their job. If you're doing something you like, why you? I don't want to retire. That sounds stupid. What, to play golf? I'm a lousy golfer. Why do I want to do something I'm lousy at for the rest of my life? I want to do something I'm good at, enjoy, and have fun. Man, yeah. It's... I'm on vacation every day. Uh, hey, hey, hey. I'm on vacation. Oh, what's that song I used to hear? Uh, that I used as a theme song sometime. Uh, but that's... Uh, what we have, right? sure, it's not easy, but it doesn't take money, and that's it. We blame it on not having money. Oh, they do it because they have money. Oh, yeah, that's just that's just lying to yourself. <laughs> I mean, that's true, but there's other ways to do it. I mean, the people I know, even my own generation, that really made big things happen, really did it with nothing in their garage. They started, you know, and that's it. And, and that's why. Yeah, there's no crossing lights. So. Uh, oh, I see. That's what yeah, it is. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, I'll let them back up on the bridge. <laughs> yeah, the lights went out. The pedestrian light isn't here. So the park service is, is the police lady. There she is here. Yeah, she's doing the traffic bit. A lot of traffic. I guess it's all traffic from the. Uh... Okay. Thank you. Uh, traffic is so big because of the everybody wants to see the cherry blossoms <laughs> and that's what that's all over uh, that cherry blossoms but yeah so that's why to me let's go help and also people want to charge hundreds and thousands of dollars to give you help that's why I'm so grateful and proud of ourselves that we only charge $20 uh, to give you what you need to start and to start taking steps to doing something different, start taking steps to doing something that you think is important in the world, uh, making a contribution to other people. That's what I like about capitalism. And you could find something that people need, give it to them, and then they pay you for it, and then you, you're self-sufficient, yeah? And uh, helping other people, what's better than that?
Yeah. Now, I look at me. I, I take things that anybody could get for free. All this information I have, that's not free to anybody. You don't have to be a congressman or anything to get it or to know it. Just take some effort. And I package what I get for free and sell it. Wow. <laughs> what a country. And it's so profitable, too. Before, you know, in the Industrial Revolution, you made things and they had all the cost of goods sold. Now, you know, like, like Apple and, you know, actually, Facebook is bigger than General Motors, I think, in the value of a company. And they have like a tenth of the employees. And that's so profitable. That's why people making a hundred grand at Facebook is nobody. That's the, <laughs> that's the cleaning lady. <laughs> They're selling air. <laughs> they don't have to ship anything. They don't have to do anything. It's all this digits on the internet that the government provides. The internet is here because of all the investment in all this technology that the government has uh, is spent there. That's why people think, oh, I'm smart and I did it. No, you're here because the government put in the roads, the government put in the internet, the government, yeah, uh, kind of thing. So it's a community. I mean, the government doesn't solve every problem, obviously. The business doesn't either. That's why it, it's a, a joint thing. Ooh, more lights are out. Oh, shit, how am I gonna get my cross here? This looks dangerous. <laughs> uh, that does not look fun. Uh, cool. so, you think they're going to stop? <laughs> There's no light. See, everybody wants to go. Everybody wants to go. Uh, I don't know. Uh, that guy, somebody's stopping over there. Maybe they'll stop. Maybe I got something going. Yeah, okay, some nice people find. You wait around long enough, nice people. Everybody's not nice. Or they are, but they don't want to be sometimes. <laughs> so you just wait long enough and, and they come out. So, it's, I mean, to me, that's what Let's Go Help is really about, is trying to get people to realize the help that's there for problems and the help that's there for you to grow. And to grow, when you grow, you're growing your neighbors, you're growing the society, so the rest of us grow. And also, if you're doing something you like doing, you're nicer to other people in life. If you're doing something that makes you miserable every day, but you're doing it because of your mortgage or whatever, you know, you gotta figure out a way around that and start planning not to be there in the future. We all go through that and it happens, but you have to keep your eye forward and start having some kind of, you know, game plan to get out there. Now the game plan you, you make up probably won't be right, but that's okay, you're going forward. That will lead you to a better game where he's gone. What am I? 30 minutes. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to take off. Uh, and thanks for putting up with me. And I hope you enjoyed the cherry blossoms.